Happy Tuesday, everybody. I'm Amanda Head, the Hollywood Conservative, and this is your Hollywood Minute. So um, over the weekend on Saturday, I covered some Trump events for Real America's Voice, for the network that I work for. And there were two events, one of which I think was kind of more a public rally uh, style event. And then another one was called a, it was a commit to caucus event because of the early caucuses in Iowa. So I think they were in Des Moines, Iowa, and Cedar Rapids. Um, anyway, a lot of people are always asking, why doesn't President Trump come to my state? And it's people, you know, I have friends up in the Central Valley of California, a very red area, very conservative area. Uh, people even close to LA in Simi Valley who say, why won't President Trump come here? You guys know, logistically speaking, it just doesn't make sense to pour. It, it, look, it costs a lot of money for President Trump to put on these rallies. They are important. They are worth the investment, uh, but they do cost a lot of money. And so for President Trump to do a rally in a state like California that has been lost to Democrats for a very long time is just not uh, financially justifiable until now. And I put out a video about this sometime I think in the summer because of what was happening with illegal immigration in places like Chicago and there was that viral video of the black woman I think on the south side of Chicago who was up in arms over the fact that money that was supposed to be routed to her community was going to illegal immigrants and you're, you've obviously seen this happening in places like New York I haven't seen anything out of LA, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be coming soon. Um, and so I, I don't know if you can really bank on the fact that President Trump is going to only be rallying in the same places that he did in 2020 and 2016. Uh, and especially when you consider these, these swing state polls, you had the most recent one last month, I think it was a New York Times Siena poll that had President Trump up in five of six swing states. He was up in uh, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Arizona, um, Nevada, Georgia, and then Joe Biden was up by two points in Wisconsin, which what are you doing, Wisconsin? Anyway, um, and I think that that's going to continue to bleed into the independent vote and even minority voters within the Democrat Party, because it seems like you've got a lot of black voters who have traditionally voted Democrat, a lot of Hispanic voters that have traditionally voted Democrat that are saying to themselves, yo, this administration has made things terrible for me, especially economically, and I just need to be able to feed my family. That's really all I require. I don't care about mean tweets. I don't care about the bluster that people complained about with President Trump. I want, you know, $2 gas and I want to be able to feed my family and not have to stress about that or putting my kid in Boy Scouts. And when you come, when it comes down to the basics of life, I think that that's what most people are really going to care about. You can talk about, oh, you know, a lot of people are worried that we're involved in these wars and national security. Okay, sure. Yeah, those are going to be issues as well. But when it comes down to it, uh, when yeah, when it comes down to it, what people care about is being able to take care of their families financially. So I don't know if you live in places like California and New York and Illinois, maybe President Trump might be rallying there. I guess I guess we will we will see. All right, everybody head over to my website, thehollywoodconservative.us. Sign up for my daily emails. Go to my pillow. Use my promo code Hollywood. My husband and I just put on our my pillow flannel sheets. We have the red plaid ones and they're so festive for Christmas time and for winter, but they are so insanely cozy. And we basically keep those sheets on through like February and they're amazing. All right, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow.